the horn up. Jerry, how are you, sir? Hey! <laughs> We're becoming, uh, you should come over already. We're becoming uh, uh, electronic friends. Yes, <laughs> yes. <laughs> Jerry Hauser is with us today. He joins us live here in a broadcast. He is the uh, just an amazing, amazing individual. And uh, we are talking today a little bit about all sorts of different things with our good friend Jerry Hauser. And uh, you can get more information online. And uh, Jerry, let's talk a little bit about um, the. We had Ina Hillebrand on earlier talking about uh, mom wars. And uh, the diamond expert, Jerry Hauser, is with us today. He's also uh, helping to popularize this word. Um, tell us a little bit about what you think of, of this whole mom war situation. I'm sorry. Oh, excuse me. I missed the last part. Well, mom wars. What, 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 what do you think of the popular term mom wars there, Jerry? Oh, that, yes. <laughs> uh, I think it's a great idea. People should, uh, I don't want to, what do I want to say? <laughs> we, we should, uh, I think everybody should think it. It's, it's not just one Mother's Day. Let me put it that way. Every day should be Mother's Day. That's awesome. That's fantastic. It is Jerry Hauser. He's with us today here on a broadcast. He is a diamond expert. We're talking diamonds today with Jerry. Now, I understand you're a member of the New York Diamond Club. What is the significance of being a member of this club? The Diamond Club is a, oh, excuse me, the Diamond Club is a uh, cash market for diamonds, and uh, it's usually, I say, 99% of the trading there is for diamonds that are approximately uh, half carat and larger. Uh, the, the significance of it is, is that it's like somebody telling you they have a seat on the New York Stock Exchange. Okay, so it's a trading. It's it's a bid price and an ask price for diamonds. And so when you remember, you're really buying on the ground floor, okay? Like you buy, like cutters, diamond cutters would be, uh, uh, you know, sending representatives up there to sell their diamonds. It's, it's kind of a long story. I'm sorry, no, James. No, you're good. It, it, you're it, good. It just, Go ahead. It just, it just, you know, we, I'm able to liquidate. So if somebody has a diamond they want to sell, I can get them out of it. I can, they'll have money in 72 hours. Fantastic. Fantastic. It can can is... we go back? James, go can ahead. I ask let's you a question? Go. Let's go. Yes, let's go. I, um, you, you touched me when we got on the air. We're talking about mothers. I don't know uh, if I can talk about that or you want to talk about diamonds. You, you talk about whatever you want to talk about. You're the guest, my friend. Jump in there. No, but you're the doctor. <laughs> <laughs> well, 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 well uh, let, let, let's talk about the Mamoir situation since that's kind of the theme today. Give us, give, yes. give, us give, give, give us your details on this, my friend. Well, first I want to say that uh, uh, when I was born, I just want to inject that. When I was born, I remember the day I was born, I, I cried like a baby. Are you still there? Yes, <laughs> yes. We're still here. We're still here. Uh, all right. Okay. Uh, you know, m my mom in particular was an extremely prof uh, special person for me, and, and not only for me, but for the world. Uh, my mom uh, was always very, uh, always treated me like I was a special person. And uh, in doing so, she would brag up to her friends about, you know, Jerry did this, Jerry did that. And, uh, you know, I was there, so it was kind of embarrassing when she did that. Uh, she also gave me a lot of confidence in myself. Uh, she constantly praised me. She's always very thoughtful. Uh, just just one example uh, uh, of being so, uh, thoughtful. As a young teen, she noticed that I uh, enjoyed watching uh, Milton Berle 
you guys are probably uh, too young for that, but that was uh, called the Texaco Star Theater. Yes, indeed. Uh, and, uh, uh, in the 50s, I believe it was the early 50s. And so Milton Berle was a very funny comedian to me. So on my birthday, one of my birthdays, she actually had uh, Milton Berle send me a birthday card with his signature on it. He wrote me, wrote me a nice note. He said, uh, just grow up to be as nice as your mom. <laughs> so that, that was special. And, and, and there's a whole bunch of things. Uh, my mom worked two jobs. Uh, Actually, she got me uh, more motivated to work. Uh, she used to, uh, with the two jobs, she used to come home uh, in the middle of the day to prepare lunch for my uh, brother and myself. So she never took lunch. She ate. She had a quick sandwich and ran back to work. And she said a lot of a lot of good things. Uh, now, uh, she had some. You know, like all of us, we have some times that are disappointing or or they're just not you know, scary at times. Uh, as a teenager, she uh, had pneumonia. And uh, my grandmother, she rest in peace, they both should, uh, would tell me stories how, how she was suffering and it was in the winter and the doctors couldn't do anything for her. The medications in those days was nothing close to what it is today. So the doctor said, uh, told my grandmother, she said, Open the window. Let us sit by the window. Of course, my grandmother said it's so cold, it's windy. And the doctor says that's the only chance we have. I don't, can't do anything else for her. You know, so maybe fresh cold air might be good for her, which is probably a, a contrary to how doctors think today. But anyway, she got better from it. So you know, I wouldn't be here today, obviously, if we should not get rid of that pneumonia. Uh, Absolutely amazing! Absolutely amazing. Yeah, it, it, it is, isn't it? Uh, and I got to tell you, uh, uh, in, in the in the 1990s, my mom applied for a job at AT and T. Uh, I'm sorry, it wasn't the 90s. It was in the 50s again. In the 50s, she applied for a job there, and uh, they turned it down. And she's fully qualified at that time. And, uh, oh goodness, I don't know if I should say this on the air, but it's so much going on with uh, racial, you know, stuff and people talk. Anyway, she was turned in those days in the 50s, when you filled out an application for employment, you could ask somebody any personal questions you want. And on that form, it asked my mom what her religion was. So she said she was Jewish. And by saying that, uh, she didn't get the job. She got a letter in the mail telling her that why she was turned down in writing. So those were those days. Uh, she lost my father in uh, 1973. It was a big blow to her. And I know I was in Kansas City at the time, and my brother called, and uh, of course I jumped on a plane, and, and she was really, this is uh, one of the saddest things in life is uh, to see your mom, you know, uh, just just cracking up, you know, crying and and all that goes with it. Uh, so you know, it's, she's had her ups and downs. For me, it was, seems to be always up. Uh, she was always there for me. She did a lot of things for me. A lot. She, uh, I got a, a two thirds scholarship. Uh, uh, it actually, was it was actually one third funded by NYU, and the other third came from uh, the state of New York. It was the first community college, I think, it was the first first in the United States. But anyway, uh, all of our professors were were acting art directors from major uh, agencies, and so you know I, I got to know these people and and all that kind of stuff. My mother used to tell people all. Oh, my, my son is uh, learning from some of the top, you know, artists and commercial artists and blah, blah, blah. Anyway, uh, the, thing, the point I'm getting at is that uh, she bought all my books, paid the other third tuition, bought me clothes, whatever it took to go to college. Uh, she just was just a remarkable person. And for my brother, it's, it's, it's equal, just about... Uh, 
my brother got a full scholarship to NYU, but uh, he was smarter than me. But anyway, make a long story short, I think, again, I'm sorry to repeat myself, but uh, every day to me at least is Mother's Day, and, and for all people there, we all have mothers, and when they're alive, we, we should appreciate uh, all the times that they were there for everybody, not just me. And, they're always there for you. They feed you. They do this for you. They do that. There's nothing like mother's love. And I hope uh, all your listeners uh, hope I'm not preaching too hard, but uh, I, I just think every mother uh, deserves the best. I'm finished. <laughs> <laughs> it is Jerry Hauser. He joins us today here on our big program and uh he is absolutely amazing so uh so so jerry tell us about this whole mom war thing uh there's the, the, there's a lot of people that think that uh everybody should do one of these i'm sorry uh, james you broke up a little bit not a problem not a problem mom wars jerry tell us yeah, all yeah, about okay. it. I'm, I'm with i'm with you mom wars oh i think it's a great idea it's a fabulous idea. You know, it's, uh, it's probably, a, if not everybody, certainly a great majority of the people listening and in the world, uh, I think in the world, because I'm always thinking, you know, some of these communist countries, I don't know what what's going on there. But anyway, make a long story short again, I think it's a great idea. It's like free publicity. It's clever. It's a reminder for people to, to remember their mothers. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. It is Jerry Hauser. He's with us today here on our big program, talking a little bit about all sorts of different things. So, Jerry, you 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 have got uh, the diamond business. You're involved in the diamond business. What 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 are some of the different changes you've seen in the diamond business over the last several years, my friend? Well, we got one word for you. It's called technology. Uh, it's amazing what we can do with a natural diamond that's not very pretty and make it pretty and the diamond is still stable uh, we can do we can take out carbon spots with a laser it's a microscopic laser uh, that goes in there pulls it out uh, and, and the integrity of the diamond remains the same now this technology uh, creates a, it, it's a big deal for the consumer, because uh, I mean, we sell laser drill diamonds, and if I can't save you 50 percent, not 30, 50 percent on a diamond, then shame on me. You know, we have a lot of references and so on. So I mean, good references. And then the other technology is is uh, we can take a diamond that came out of a volcano, because you know all diamonds come from a volcano, and when it erupts. Uh, some of those diamonds that come out from the volcano have not fully crystallized. It takes over 100 years for uh, Mother Nature to crystallize carbon and make it, you know, anything from ice white to dark black. And anyway, so we can take that stone. It's called a type 2A. There's four types. Type 2A is, is a stone that has uh, usually has a nitrogen uh, defect. Uh, and just not fully crystallized. And we can take and add the same heat and pressure nature would have uh, used if it, did, if it did not come out prematurely. And these diamonds are they're all certified GIA. Uh, they're all very high color. Uh, and the clarity has to be uh, VS2 and above. The majority, 80% are VVS1 and 2 in flawless. It's just a, it's just a, uh, they're all, they're a thousand percent eye clean. If the clarity was any lower, the additional heat and pressure would turn the, turn the uh, stone into sand, literally. Uh, so, I mean, there's, there's a lot of things going on in the diamond business today. Uh, a lot of people getting married, people buying more and more engagement rings. Uh, that's our specialty. Of course, we sell earrings and other jewelry items, but the, uh, uh, the engagement rings seem people have more money today, and they're buying. I would say over ninety percent of our sales are, are uh, over one carat, uh, or ninety points and better. 
and they're all certified and, 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 you know, and we ask people to check around because you know we're strictly online we don't have a store um, and we, we work with in four continents four of the five continents we have clients what else can I tell you it's just a great I think it's it's a great business because you're making people happy and that's it's just that's what it is Fantastic, fantastic. Well, Jerry, I appreciate you doing this, and uh, we look forward to chatting with you soon. Have yourself a wonderful...